In this video, you're gonna learn one quick tip with editing keyframes that'll make your edits look a lot more professional. So to demonstrate this, let's just start with our plain clip on the timeline. And I'll begin by showing you with a simple text animation. So I'll grab my type tool, I'll type out whatever I want. In the Essential Graphics panel, you can adjust everything about the font and the size and all that. But let's say I wanted to animate this in from left to right. One way we can do that is with position keyframes. So I will click this stopwatch icon in the effect controls panel, and that will create a keyframe on the current position. And one quick tip I have for you is rather than using the sliders, which you can do, you can also just highlight the motion tab and you can just move things visually. If you hold shift as well, that will lock in so that you can get a perfect horizontal movement. But this will create a keyframe on the first frame that we're at here in this position. Then I can move forward a little bit and I can just hit reset parameter to go back to where I started from, or I can move it to wherever I want it to finish. So with these two keyframes, we'll begin off the screen and we'll enter on the screen. But here's where the point of the tutorial comes in, how to make your edit look a lot more professional with just this one little trick and that's using keyframe velocity. So if we ever drop down the arrow on this position keyframe in the effect controls panel, we, we get this velocity tab that opens up. Now, quick note, if you ever can't find any of these panels like effect controls and whatnot, just go to window and you can check them on or off. They're usually tucked in this tab here. But in this velocity panel, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can adjust the window sizes depending on your computer so you have more working space, but I'm gonna zoom into this specific timeline on the effect controls. And when I highlight the position, we see these little handles, these blue handles pop up for each side of the keyframe. And this will allow us to ramp this keyframe so that it's not just a linear point A to point B in exactly the same speed. What I can do is make it follow more of like a speed ramp. So it'll start slow, It'll happen quickly and then it'll slow down again. And if I press play on this, we see we get this nice, like slick velocity that happens to it. That really that one simple trick can make your edits look just a lot more clean or professional or like a nice touch to them. Firstly of all, you always just can right click the keyframe, temporal interpolation, and you can switch them back to linear if you mess up. Or if you want it just a simple one, you can always right click temporal and you can do like ease in and ease out of keyframes. That'll give you a really basic version of this, but you always have the option to go in there and make a, make things more extreme. Here's another example with the linear wipe transition effect. I've just stacked another clip on top, created some overhang and on this top clip, on the linear wipe I can start at 100% complete and go to 0% and this will reveal this clip underneath it and rather than just a linear amount I can drop down the velocity and I can try to make a more speed ramped version so let's see what this looks like kind of a cool different touch if you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out hundreds of more on the playlist on my channel for free and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Justin Odisho and I'll see you in the next one.